I'm Tina Laster, and today I'm going to give you a tour of my pantry. I have been asked by several people to, hey, please show your pantry and let everybody see your pantry. Um, since our video outside was kind of short this afternoon because it's getting kind of chilly out there, I thought, yeah, I will bring you in and show you the pantry. My husband, you don't think really built this room because this was our dining room so we took half of this room half of the dining room and made this room on the other side of this wall is a small living room so this is kind of close to our kitchen we flip-flopped our dining room in our house to the other side of the house so i'm just going to start by saying this is my spices on this side I have enjoyed this so much because I hate getting those little bitty spice bottles out and always having to come back in and refill them. I said, I'm not doing that. We'll just put them in fruit jars and I have enjoyed it so much better. And down here at the bottom, we kind of have all of my uh, baking products and my salts and uh, a lot of these spices have been grown here on the farm, especially this row. It, you know, has um, the oregano and the rosemary and the basil and sage and things like that I grow here on the farm. And um, let's just come on around. Just bottles of water, my step ladders, and this is our uh, saw that we use for uh pigs we slice meat on this meat saw and then we grind our meat and this is rooster is a piece of artwork that i did oh um, before steve and i got married and I, I have always loved it because um an elderly couple that we used to go hang out with when steve and i were teenagers um miss marge and mr estel ledford sweet elderly couple we would spend time with them and they had a woodworking shop and at the time steve and i didn't have any tools and they would always want us to come down and cut out things for them and this is one of the patterns that miss marge had and i painted her one and i painted me one and so i've had that oh steve and i've been married 36 years so i've had that about 37 38 years and it's it's gone from house to house when we you know moved here i just couldn't throw it out okay on this side i have a little bit of everything we are not fully stocked and i don't um can everything i mean i do have convenient items as you can see i've got things from walmart that the kids can just come in here and grab a can and just heat it up and just you know you know where they won't have to wait on me you know to cook a meal up here uh our sandwiches and our spaghetti sauces we have tomato juice tomato whole tomatoes and we have um some of our fruits and jams down here i have pears up here and i have peach jam and then I have apple pie filling that I've canned. And um, these are the red hot cinnamon pickles. I think those are maybe the apple ones. And then I have syrups that I make. Um, I think this one is a um, apple cinnamon syrup for pancakes. And um, I also have uh, this is like... Uh, a different type of apple syrup and then all types of salsas and I make a, uh, a Friday's restaurant has that uh, maple onion glaze this is a kind of a reproduction of that it's so good on um, uh, roast and then we have like I said the different salsas under there um, my pimento peppers I love banana peppers. Um, when my mother-in-law passed away, uh, the church that she went to had a, a potluck luncheon for us as the family to come and eat. 
and Karen Smith made the best roast. She used the banana peppers and she used Italian dry seasoning and I thought it was the best I'd ever ate. I have started making my roast that way and the kids love it. And I also have some of Aunt Donna's um, pepper jelly. I only have a few jars left and I have loved this stuff. So thank you Aunt Donna for giving this to us, gifting it to us. And who doesn't like fried green tomatoes? I have enjoyed these. I canned a little bit of these up last year, but I have some of these in here since 2014 and they taste just as fresh as the day you pick it. I mean, all I do in these jars is put a little bit of salt, maybe like a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and pour hot water over it. And then I um, just water bath can it. And that salt preserves it. It doesn't make them too soft. I mean, you flour those up and then you just put that in, the, uh, in your lard and fry them up. They're great. Over here, these are kind of like a leftover sort of thing. Um, I have baked beans and white beans and green peas. I think these were all, some of this stuff was in the freezer and I was trying to clean out the freezer. So I started canning up some things. And then I have the um, dried apples, apple chips. They love those. Some of them are cinnamon flavored and some of them aren't, but they're good. And I also make a zucchini chip like that. I have some peppers that I'm drying for seed. And these are some jams and jelly, just kind of some miscellaneous. This is chicken wings. I had bought several cases of chicken wings, or I say gifted several boxes of chicken wings. And these are barbecue, and those are regular. And then I've got them in the pint size in case the kids want to open them up and uh, pick it off the bone because they are in the bone uh, and add it to rice or just or just even make barbecue wings. You can put these, take them out, just put them in the oven, add barbecue sauce. And this is what I canned up this week. The, um, the deer, the cube deer for a stew. I opened one can and my husband absolutely loved it. Now it was a little bit peppery for me because I did put, you know, a few peppercorns, but I only put a fourth of a teaspoon. So next year, if I can any up, I'll probably only just put maybe one or two peppercorns and then um, the steak seasoning. I think I've cut back a little bit, but he liked it because he likes spicy stuff. And then I have only two jars of lard left from our pigs because we haven't done a pig in two years. So this will be our second year that we haven't done a pig. But I loved cooking the lard off. If you've ever cooked lard, and it's just a great thing to do. And it's a fun thing to do. And it takes a little time, but so well worth it. I think that year, just on one pig alone, we got like 125 jars of lard and it was, I mean, they lasted, you know, a couple of years. I mean, it's just amazing. And then this was the um, chicken broth stock that I canned up this week. And we ended up with 15 jars of that. And this is some that I've canned in the past. It's just a clear because I didn't add anything at all to the stock but a little salt. See the difference? I prefer my stock just clear. And then these are the carrots that I canned up. I canned probably almost 100 jars of carrots. I had bought them up in stock in bulk and sliced them up and canned them. But I canned mine and I put brown sugar in mine and I put maybe just a little bit of maple syrup, but they are so good that the kids really don't like the store-bought ones as much. I mean, even with me doing the exact same thing with the brown sugar and, you know, putting it in these, it doesn't compare to home homemade. And then I have okra my favorite pickled okra our son jacob and his wife alex love pickled okra as well 
and I've given them several jars and but they like the hot ones. They like the ones with the peppers in. So Jake will have to can some more this year. And then this is just chicken noodle soup that I've canned up because Millie loves chicken noodle soup, our oldest daughter. And she'll come and get her a can, a jar of this out and just heat it up in the microwave. And this is um, beef uh, soup or beef stew. I think this is more of a soup though. And then this is a deer chili. I'm, I'm sorry, not chili. A deer, um, well, a deer soup, I guess. It's got the barley in it. And if you haven't used barley, it's kind of hard to find at Walmart on the shelf. It's up above the rice, and they only have one brand and one box at the very top shelf. So... It's hard to find, but it's so great. You know, when you're a little kid and you ate the the uh, Campbell's brand of beef soup and it has the barley in it, that's what that tastes like. It tastes great. And then I also have, this is blueberries. I made blueberry syrup for pancakes. Oh, this is so good too. And um, let's see. And then that's still some blueberry syrup. Strawberry jam. Let's see. And then this is the uh, peach jam. Um, a friend of mine last year, Kim Hines, uh, bought peaches and asked me to teach her how to can. She said, if you teach me how to can, I will buy you some peaches. So she brought me a case of peaches and she had a case and I canned her peaches. So thank you, Kim, for the peaches. We have really enjoyed them. And let's see, what have I haven't discussed? And like I said, these are our store bought. And and I've really enjoyed these too, the apple. Because even though we had the apple butters and our son Taylor, he loves the apple butter. But any of the pears up here uh, a friend of ours, uh, I canned up some things for Miss Marilyn, Miss Marilyn Kale. Hey, Miss Marilyn. And um, she gifted us some pears, and I was so thankful for those. And we got those canned up, and they have been wonderful. I'm trying not to eat so many of them because I want them to last. And so they are great. And let's see. Like I said, we have our tomatoes and tomato juice. I even have a few that are from uh, gifted from our aunt, my Aunt Donna before they left to go move to Montana, and I hate that. But I've really enjoyed the tomatoes and the tomato juice that you gave us, so thank you. We have really enjoyed that. It's really helped our family. And then, oh, I didn't mention, I had mentioned, I guess, earlier, the salsa. Now I make a, a mild salsa and I make a hot salsa, which I like the mild. And the kids, believe it or not, they all like the hot. But I just get, I get a lot of my season at Real King and Martin. I go and buy it in bulk, which, you know, bulk is really just a pound or two pounds. And it has just really come in handy because I'll put it in our jars. I guess you can see my spices better from this angle. This is our pickles. I've canned dill and sweet the year before last. I didn't can any last year because this was full. That chef up there was full. But this year I'm going to have to can pickles. I even canned the little bitty tomatoes in the jar and pickled those. But to me, they were terrible. So I'll probably have to pour those out to the pigs. And I wasn't a fan of them, and I don't think my kids are either. And then, which I do still buy some dill pickles because I kind of like the whole baby dills. And, you know, I am out of, I may have a few jars of sweet relish up there, but I picked up one because Steve likes that on, you know, uh, hot dogs and stuff like that. And then, then my condiments and some of my spices and 
packs are in that and um, starches and then I have a few condiments here with our soy sauces and stuff and then my sweet daughter-in-law Rainy made this for me for Christmas. She had passed out some of these to a few family members for Christmas. This is homemade vanilla. I've been meaning to make some forever, but it's made with vodka. And so, you know, I don't drink. So I wasn't gonna be caught dead at <laughs> the liquor store. And some church members see me walking in and out of the liquor store because I mean, you know, I don't want them to think that I'm loopy and drink it a little bit, nip it on the side. <laughs> but anyway, thank you, Rainy. I'm going to enjoy that. And the kids are too because they love to bake chocolate chip cookies and you need vanilla for that. And then this is some sparkling welchers that Eli, our son, he likes to do little mixed cocktail drinks, you know, non-alcohol, of course, because he's only 14 and... We just don't drink in the house. This is our pastas, and then this is a different things for baking, like oats and nuts. And then this, like I said, these are my apple chips, but these are the zucchini chips, and they are great. I um, have two dehydrators, and I dehydrated these, and then I sprinkled a ranch season and dry season over them and they're so good so y'all need to try these y'all need to make some of these they're great you can do any type of vegetable like that though cut them really thin like your yellow squash your zucchinis um just cut them really thin and dry them in the dehydrator and add your favorite seasoning on top you can get the barbecue rub seasoning too and make barbecue chips so that would be good. And then here's some of our dried beans and lentils. Lentils. And here's some of our dried beans and lentils. And then this. You won't believe what this is. This is dandelion leaves. I collected dandelion leaves last year. And you can also use the blossoms but i didn't this is um dandelion tea and to me it has it still has a florally taste even without the blossoms in here but it is really good and beneficial for different things so look that up and see what it's beneficial for because if you have to when you get on hard times go out to your yard and start picking your dandelion leaves and you can dry them out in your dehydrator or dry them out in the sun and you can have dandelion tea. And then here's some more dried beans or dried rices. And then this is some of my canning products that I keep up here, my ice cream packs and, and then different spices for pickling and jar lids. And this is just extras, nuts that I haven't put away yet. Extra coffee and grapefruit. I still have jars and rings and these boxes are different types of beans and rice and then down here at the bottom i still have some um in the very back i have vinegars and i have some flour and sugar and stuff like that on the very back and this is some squash that we had left over from last year that i got from my sister mitzi and then this is our potatoes, and then three things of onions. These onions, I've been meaning to chop up and put in the food dehydrator that I've been really busy and haven't dealt with that. And then I have one lonely little pumpkin here that I am going to get the seeds out of to grow more. And I also have these garlic that I'm going to plant in our greenhouse or out in our garden bed. And then Steve's coffee. These are potatoes that I um, canned up last year. I just went to the store and they had a sale on potatoes at Kroger. And so I bought uh, probably 20 bags of potatoes and canned them. Our kids love them. You can fry them up after you take them out of the jar. Just like you could if you wanted to make hash browns. 
or you can put them in the oven and put cheese over them and use them like a scallop potato or you can use them like a mashed potato, even a baked potato. You can do all things with those potatoes. You do not put any liquid at all in the jar. You just uh, dry can those. And these are my apple cider vinegar that I, homemade that I have made from apple cores. And it still has the yeast in there. It still has the mother in there. And then this is the pear pear vinegar and it's a little milder than the apple cider vinegar but you cannot tell the difference in this and store-bought this is really good vinegar and i guess that is all that i can really show you oh i didn't show you this down here and up here this is just where i keep my tea for right now and sometimes i put my extra towels in there and then the kids cereal and just Stuff like crackers and snacks go in that basket and the kids come in here and they to use the toaster oven and the bread box and and then up there you know I have my um, vacuum sealer so when we're processing animals you know you know our pork or our chickens or any type of vegetable in the garden that I want to put in the freezer which is seldom unless it's you know meat because I want to clear up that freezer space just for our meat and then we kids have snacks under here and you know um, but anyway this is our pantry and I have really enjoyed it I'm so glad that Steve took the time to build it I've always got him doing some type of crazy project and he always just jumps right on in there and he's such a good husband <laughs> to just jump in there and just build me such a beautiful pantry. Now, I know some of you probably don't like the green, but I wanted something kind of bright and cheery in here. My father-in-law, he would not like the green, <laughs> but it kind of reminds me of him, the green, because I keep thinking, Randy would not like the green color. The first time he saw it, he laughed because he saw it. He said, you painted it green because he knows green is my favorite color. But anyway, I thank you so much for hanging out with me today here on Laster Farm. And I also want to thank you for the ones that have already subscribed to my channel and helping me grow my channel. So please, if you like what you see here, please subscribe because we are a new channel and we're trying to get to our thousand subscribers. So God bless you until next time. We'll see you here back at Laster Farm.